Hello. Hello, hello. So we are here today at Bahama, Bahama Breeze. Breeze. We've been waiting to do this place for like five years now. We originally came in 2014 for the first time. We checked out TripAdvisor and it was one of the best restaurants to eat at in Orlando off site at the time anyway. There is actually more than one Bahama Breeze in Orlando, but we're at the one on International Drive. At the time of filming, Bahama Breeze was rated 104 out of 2,988 restaurants in Orlando, which we think is pretty damn good. So we want to sit outside because of the live entertainment and the same police inside host for outside seating. It's worth pointing out that when you make a reservation here at Bahama Breeze, you can only make a reservation for inside seating. It's first come, first serve for outside. So we've been seated. It's very romantic out here. Yeah, it's a nice Shop. ambience. It's I hope they bring candles. But we're looking around here at the lights and it looks a lot brighter than it is. Like, it's actually quite a lot darker. The, um, the lights are alcoholic bottles. Yes, they are. Got beer, beer bottles. Wouldn't it be nice if there's a big downpour, a big thunder and lightning? Yeah. So cool. While we're here, under undercover. Undercover, just sitting and enjoying it. <laughs> so we have been seated down. Let's have a look at the table, Lou. Oh yeah. So Treasure Cove paddle boards. Oh yeah, we're on half a... Hello guys, how are we doing today over here? Very well, how are you? Awesome. My name is Felix and I'll be your server. So we've got a alcohol menu first to just show you guys. We've got an ultimate pina colada and a frozen Bahama Rita. These, I think, are their signature cocktails. And these ones range from like $8 up to $12. We've got some Long Island cocktails on this page. And then we've got some frozen cocktails. Some of them you can take the glass home with you as well. Yeah. But there's plenty of cocktails in here. But we're going to go on to the taster one. And don't judge us, but we're going to go for a rum raid for 26 bucks. And I think that's going to do us for the evening, isn't it? Yeah. I reckon it will. You're looking forward to it? Yeah, I can't wait. So it'd be nice if we have a taste of it and all of them. This is a closer look at the rum raid that we've ordered. The ultimate island experience. Explore eight rum-filled glasses from the Caribbean. You'll need to bring along a friend for this adventure. Trust us, there's plenty to go around. Oh, yes! I have to dismantle this because it's so big. But we just wanted to show you what it comes on. So it actually comes on two giant leaves. Like metal leaves. And then... Well, I'll tell you what we could do. We could leave it. Yeah. I'll tell you what we could do. We could leave it on the table until our appetizers turn up. We actually haven't ordered it yet, have we? No. I really don't know what to go for. There's so many options. Calamari, yeah? I'll have the coconut shrimp as your starter, Will. Oh, so I didn't see these seafood starters. Right, decision has been made. I'm going for a coconut shrimp. Lely's going to go for the Bahaman seafood chowder. So these coconut shrimps have just turned up and I'm an absolute sucker for coconut shrimp. And this is your chowder? Yeah, this is my chowder. With oyster crackers? Yep. Wow. Why don't you taste some? Okay. Enjoy guys. Thank you. Do you like it? I love clam chowder, it's quite good. I'm gonna have to try some. Are you gonna try yours? Yeah. Is it nice? What is your verdict? If you pop a gun to run for his money. So Lely's gonna go for the tequila sunburn glazed salmon. Grilled salmon pasted with our new tequila sunburn glaze topped with pineapple mango salsa served with cinnamon mashed sweet potatoes and green beans. Wow, 
oil. That looks really good, mate. That looks so nice. That chicken looks really tasty. And here's my salmon uh, with sweet potato and greens. And on top, it's like a pineapple salsa. Oh, just looks well good. How is that, Will? Cool. Yeah, really good. I've just got into the uh, black beans and the rice. That's really nice. I've had a taste of these sort of potatoes. I'll be honest, I don't really know what I'm eating, but it just tastes so nice. It's, it's, I, I expect it to be a lot more spicy, but it's actually just really nice. Brilliant. I'm going to get tucked in. Delicious. So this is the ambience inside here. So we have finished up at Bahama Breeze. We had a really nice meal, didn't we? We had a lovely time in general, didn't we? It was so. just nice to spend just the two of us together having a romantic meal. <laughs> Drinking lots of cocktails, <laughs> having a nice starter, having um, Coconut nice... Coconut shrimp was really nice. Yeah, my clam chowder was really tasty as well. And I was really impressed with my salmon. That was lovely. And you enjoyed your taste of the Caribbean, didn't you? That was really nice, that was really nice. Lovely. We did have one problem though, my meal came out and it was... It wasn't very warm, was it? It wasn't very warm, so that wasn't a problem, they whipped it away and within a few minutes they'd got a fresh one out that was super hot. Um, so there's no complaints there, nope. just that's being an honest experience. Yeah, um, and also they knocked it off the bill. And they knocked it off the bill, yeah, which was so really good of them. They, they rectified it really quickly and um, went above and beyond by knocking it off the bill. So we're, we're really pleased with the experience. Even, yeah. you know, hasn't Service. put a damper on it. We'll definitely be coming back. Service was top notch as well. The guy that served us was, was spot on, yeah, very nice attentive. Guy. So anyway, yeah. we're going to wrap this up. But thank you very much for watching. Thanks for following along here at Bahama Breeze on International Drive, Orlando. I hope we've not made you too hungry. <laughs> See you later guys, bye. Bye.